man, what am I going to do with all these useless CDs? I don't know, I don't want to throw them out anymore. And my friends are really tired of using them for coasters. Must be able to come up with something that's environmentally friendly and makes use of these things. Something that actually works and, and maybe it uh, ties into some unknown source of power or is at least aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. Well, I have to think about this. I wonder what MacGyver would do. discs into a Tesla turbine and magnetically drive it onto a homopolar generator, I might be able to generate electricity and a host of other applications with this little device. Hmm, let's see what we can do here. First of all, if I was MacGyver, I would of course have a neodymium ring. Very nice gold plated neodymium ring, which would come in handy in this circumstance. Okay, what we're going to do, take one CD, put it down, put a magnet around the corner. Another magnet over here. These are small eighth inch neodymium neodymium magnets. Okay, arrange them at 120 degree intervals on this CD. That is equally spaced. Looks very good and start popping on CDs. There's the next one. And the next magnet. Next magnet. And the next magnet. Next CD. Wolf Parade. Okay, so far so good. Back out. See how the CDs are getting held together. That's a good thing. Macburn. Oh, that's a driver for some device that I am not even sure what it is. This is another driver for a wireless. G range extender. Oops. You see how the CDs are all sticking together quite nicely with these little magnets. Okay, here we'll have a look at the completed Tesla turbine uh, disc blade pack held together by eighth inch square new Dimium magnets and round 
uh, quarter inch neodymium magnets um, on the outer edges of the discs. So we've got a total of nine discs in this pack and plus another disc in the bottom is a bearing surface. In fact there's two discs in the bottom as uh, uh, bearing surfaces. Out the top disc. Put that in there, slip on the cover, and we've got a nice tight fit. At the same time, it's able to rotate quite freely inside. So next step will be to add the water intake port, which will drive the discs with the force of the water going around the outer edge of the disc working its way to the center where we will drill holes in the middle of this post in order to allow the water to exit out through the center after delivering its power to these discs. At that point we should have rotating discs powered by water. Next step is the magnetic coupler that will attach to the outside of this container in order to produce useful energy from a shaft from the magnetic coupler to use this as a motor. And also we can attach another magnetic coupler with a handle on it to be able to crank this to use it as a water pump and also as it's rotating we'll have a coil of wire around the outside so that when water powers it it'll be an electric generator also you can put the hand crank on to have a hand crank generator what a multi-purpose versatile device. Here's some design details of the Tesla MacGyver turbine generator. Um, here we have the CD tray, uh, CD spindle tray cover and I've joined a ice cream scoop from the dollar store onto that after carving out the inside of the scoop to the same diameter as the inside of this tube of the scoop. That part and this I've uh, adapted a half inch barbed brass garden hose fitting and it's happened to be a perfect press in fit to the bottom of the CD case. Other detail I have drilled holes into the inside tube of the CD spindle to allow the water or airflow to flow through the discs into the into uh, the outlet here at the bottom. Here again is the, the CD disc pack with the uh, discs lined up through the magnets and the magnets have been glued on to, as extra security. That fits over the spindle. That actually first of all we'll put in a, a couple of these spacer plates to allow the disc to move freely. And there's the completed Tesla turbine.